Blessings to everyone who's watching me right about now. A word of encouragement I have for you. Remember that every single day I release these amazing words of encouragement. Brothers and sisters, I know some of you have been kept locked in prison. I'm not speaking about the physical prison. I'm speaking about the spiritual prison because life is spiritual. You could be moving around as a free man or woman, but in your life, there are things that have kept you down. There are uh, situations that have not allowed you to express yourself, that have not allowed you to move and speak in confidence. My brothers and sisters, that is why I release this word. Remember that every single day I release this word. Brothers and sisters, the word for today is that foundation, that prison that has been holding you down will be shaken. It will be shaken. The foundation of that prison will be shaken. Some of you may be going into marital problems, relationship problems, sicknesses that you cannot comprehend. You have tried to go to the doctor, but things have failed out to go exactly how you expected to do. Things have failed to work. In other words, you have tried to apply for that job, but it seems that they are getting someone. That promotion, it has not been happening. People have been promoted while you, you have been left in that position. I want to speak this word to you, that the foundations of your prison will be shaken. Today's word is from the book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 25 to 33. Acts, chapter 16, verse 25 to 33. And it reads, But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, do yourself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in, and fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, and you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and all who were in his house. And he took them this, the same hour at the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. What a powerful word. The Bible speaks about these men of God who were locked in prison. Yes, they were anointed. Yes, they were chosen. Yes, they were separated. Yes, they were, they were unique from others. And yet, they were in prison. This was the physical prison they were in. These men were Paul and Silas. But the prison could not hold them down because they knew their place in Christ. The Bible says that at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. At midnight. It was at midnight. Brothers and sisters, what are you doing at midnight? Yes, you know you have a problem. Yes, you know you have a predicament. But what are you doing at midnight? Are you sleeping? Are you slumbering? Or you are praying and singing hymns to God? These men knew what they ought to do. They knew. They understood authority. And the Bible says, while they were singing and praying, 
The prisoners were listening to them. Some of you don't know how people listen to you when you pray. Yes, you may lock yourself in a closet, but don't worry about that because salvation is coming to them too. The Bible says in 36, suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's chains were loosed. Suddenly, an earthquake happened. Some of you, you are praying, you are, you are uh, singing to God and you hear some noise. Do you think it happens by coincidence? No. There's something that is happening in the spiritual realm that has manifested in the physical. The Bible said it was sudden that an earthquake happened. It was suddenly. And the foundations of that prison were shaken. Brothers and sisters, when you pray, the foundations of your prison are shaken. The foundation of your situation is being shaken. Some of you are barren. Some of you have been searching for rest. Some of you have been searching for a spouse. But the things that have been holding you down when you pray, when you worship God, when you sing, the foundations of your prison will be shaken. The Bible says, and immediately, not tomorrow, not after two weeks, not after a year, it was immediately the doors, all the doors, not one door, all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. Some of you, your prayer, when you keep on praying, it is not only beneficial to you, but even your neighbors who are in prison, even those that are in the same vicinity with you, even those that are connected to you, their chains are being loosed. Some of you don't know. It's not only you that is in prison. Your prayers are needed. Your prayers are powerful. Brothers and sisters, I will not go any further, but uh, as you read the story, is that even the the one who was keeping, the prison keeper, was freed. He was also in chains. Though he was keeping them, but he was also in bondage. When he accepted on the Lord Jesus, his family also was healed, was set free. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. If you want to get in touch with me, if you want me to pray with you, you can do so by sending me a message through my WhatsApp number or through my email address. All those details are in the about section. Until next time, God bless you.